to my channel. I'm Stephanie. If you're new here, today we are going to be making two Christmas wreaths. I have two wreaths. They're a little bit different and I got them at um, my niece's place. She was getting rid of some stuff and I found these there. And then I have my hot glue gun and then I just got a bunch of different pieces at Hobby Lobby. I kind of wanted to stay with all the white, the greens, and then these berries and stuff. So that is a mauve color. And then I have a bunch of other white things that I will be putting on. I'm probably gonna cut some of these in pieces. I also have a silver flower and then silver these, and I'll just kind of cut these in pieces also. And then I also have this one I got at Hobby Lobby, just a little owl. And then this one is what I got at our tree farm that we went to. And then I also have a huge bundle here of different pine trees from the tree farm. And I'm probably not going to do full green all the way around. I'm probably just going to do a partial. And then I'll just kind of build up from there. But I'm going to start by adding a lot of greens to it first. So hopefully you guys can kind of see where you're at. Um, and depending on how big these pieces are, I might have to cut these down also. Because I think what I wanna do is kind of just go like this. So whatever it ends up looking like will be fine with me. This one, I think I'm able to just kind of poke everything in there. And then when I need to glue, I have that ready right here. So I'm just gonna break off some pieces. And if I don't want any of them to stick up, then I'm just gonna kinda tuck them in. So I'm just gonna keep going here and then I will come back when I have the whole side built up. I might have to stick some of the ones that are kind of flopping around a little bit, kind of stick it in there. I don't have any like little things that I can clip it onto, but I think once I start adding everything else on, they'll be able to hold in, in place and they won't be floppy like this. But I can also hot glue some of these pieces down and then it won't, it won't look like that. So some of this I still have to kind of pull up a little bit. I don't have any tree wire on me right now, so I'm not able to do that. But that would be one of the things that you could get is tree wire or like wreath wire. You can get that at Hobby Lobby. And then you can kind of just uh, twine it around and hold your hold this in place. So I think I'm gonna put some spots of hot glue in here. 
to prevent it from flopping all over. I'm gonna start adding things to this. Now, with this being so big, I'm not quite sure where I wanna put it. If I wanna bring it down here and have this as my main focus, but I also am going to be adding this little owl on there too. So I want him to be a focus on here too. So we'll see how I can uh, incorporate him in here, but I kind of want him out a little bit more so that he can show off a little bit. So I'm gonna try to play around here and see what I come up with and then I will show you guys. So I think this is what I'm gonna just stick with, just something really simple and I really like it like this. I don't really want it to be so taken over by so many decorations that it just looks kind of crazy. So this just has a couple pieces on there. So I would say all together, um, maybe spent about $10 on most of this but otherwise it was pretty cheap to make. Hopefully you guys like this one. Okay, so the next one that we are going to be doing, a little bit different with the silver this way versus the other one that has the um, kind of little fireworks things on there. So we're just gonna go with this. And these berries are a little bit bigger and then this owl is just pure white. And I'm going to be, Miles cut up some of these for me. These are just a little bit more, uh, uh, not at, these are softer than using the pine needle, needles. So we're gonna be going with this today. All right, so I'm probably gonna do the same thing where I'm only gonna build on this area and leave this part open, but we are just gonna have a lot of greens and stuff over here. So I will come back when I finish the green part.
that looks like. I think if I could change anything, maybe I'll start cutting some of the berries off and started putting some berries all over. I think it just seems like it's just this, this, and this. But if I cut some of the berries off, I think I can kind of mix that in there with that. bit of hot glue on the stem so that it stays longer. And I added some color through that. So that's what that one looks like. Between both of the wreaths, it was maybe around $10, but luckily I did have one and the two that I got for free, everything else I bought. And the bundle for me with the trees um, were $6. And then everything else was 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So everything was pretty reasonable in price. One of my owls were the one with the brown. Here, I'll show you quick. This one right here, this one was like $5.50 at the tree farm, and I'm not sure how much this little white guy is. But that is what both of them look like. Hopefully that was fun for you guys to watch. If you guys have any questions or, um, or if you guys are into this and you guys have any more ideas or give me some more ideas for maybe next year, leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.